Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the brand new Ninjago Crystallized Official Trailer. This is it. We finally have ourselves a trailer, not a teaser, but a full-on trailer. And what a trailer it is. My goal for today's video is to go through this entire trailer, break it down in terms of my own opinion. And at the end of the video, I will give my overall thoughts on the trailer itself. I also want to rant a little bit towards the very end of this video. So if you guys want to stick around, around and hear me rant about Lego and how terrible their upload schedule is, hey, feel free to stick around because we're going to be going over that as well. Uh, the trailer opens with the Vengestone smuggling sequence that we saw in uh, the uh, first episode of Ninjago Crystallized. I'm trying to uh, half speed this thing here. Yeah, the first episode of Ninjago Crystallized featured this whole sequence with the Vengestone and the new ninja showing up to battle off Misdemeanor and her henchmen. If you want to hear more of my thoughts on this sequence, uh, check out my review for episode one, which is already up on the channel. Surprise, surprise. Uh, we also get some extended sequences of the uh, new Starburst Ninja in the subway during the sequence where they battle Misdemeanor for the second time. And we get some of the ninja reactions with Zane saying, oh, you know what? Fair enough. These guys are actually pretty good. And Kai being super angry about the whole thing. I like how each of the ninja has kind of a different reaction to this new ninja team. Uh, some of them enjoy them, uh, enjoy their company. Most of them do not, of course. Then we get some new stuff. Here's some new footage, or at least new for me because I haven't seen these episodes just yet. Don't even know if these are actually out just yet. At the time of me uploading this video, they're not. But hey, we'll save that for the end of the video, right? So I'll just save all my thoughts uh, for the end in terms of in terms of rant stuff. Gotta collect myself here. Yeah, we see some sequences here of these weird crystallized spider bot things recruiting various villains such as Asphira. Uh, we also have the sequence where they recruit Pythor. We saw that already in a crystallized clip. And uh, Asphira screams revenge. Of course, that's her catchphrase. The spiders are like, hey, you you want revenge, bro? Asphira is like, yeah, I want revenge, as per usual. Then we see some interesting stuff here. Some crystals. They seem to be crystallizing the villains. I like that quite a bit. Uh, Mr. E, or Mr. F, as he's known here, gets crystallized, crystallified. Asphira gets her new crystal armor with the crystallized sort of fire. Not too bad there. I'm really digging how that looks. Uh, what else do we got? This weird kabuki masked figure, which appears to be quite the big deal here. Uh, talking to Lloyd, taunting him. Uh, we saw that footage already in the initial teaser. We also see this mountain coming out of the ground. Kind of reminds me of the mountain from Chima, but hey, that starts rising to the sky. And this masked figure is very mysterious indeed. Who exactly is this person? I guess we'll just have to find out, right? Uh, we get some more footage of the ninja using their stealth mode vehicles. We saw that already in the initial uh, teaser as well as some uh, as well as some official clips uploaded by Lego themselves. Uh, that sequence still continues here. We have Jay hanging off the side of the truck just like you did in the initial teaser. The ninja are going to prison, boys. The ninja are going to jail. Uh, fair enough. We saw all this stuff already, too. Uh, some more stuff with the truck smashing through that Dareth uh, billboard. That's pretty cool to see. <laughs> I'd smash through that as well with my car if I had the opportunity. Lloyd flies away on the helicopter alongside the rest of the ninja, and Lloyd goes, oh, I guess we're the bad guys now. As you can see, I think that's Kai holding Asphira's staff. That's going to be important to the plot of, uh, of Crystallized as well. I don't want to spoil exactly how just yet, just in case you guys have not seen the episodes. Uh, we have the mayor in his office doing something there on the phone, talking to someone. Who is he talking to? I don't know. We get this sequence right here of the ninja running after this van. Uh, one thing that I like about this, Zane is back using his human cloak, which we have not seen since March of the Oni, I think. He used the cloak during season 11 at some point, but I think this is the first time in the Wild Brain era seasons that we're actually seeing his human form. That's kind of cool. Kind of an unexpected surprise. Guys pushing Dareth along, possibly because he's slow. He's holding them back from jumping on the van and escaping the police, of course. Uh, what else do we got here? Yeah, this mysterious character, still don't know who she is. I imagine the episode where she gets introduced is probably out by now, but I still haven't seen it because I have a lot of things to do. Being a Ninjago YouTuber, only have so much time uh, on my hands. We get the sequence of Master Wu fighting Asphira. Cool stuff there. I imagine the plan to get Asphira kind of goes sour here, and the uh, the ninja, especially Master Wu, need to fight her off, and Asphira has this army of crystallized spiders on her side. Oh boy, can't wait to see what that's all about. She looks pretty, uh, pretty cocky there, if I do say so myself and the entire monastery just blows up 
All right, I guess the monastery is catching fire again due to another serpentine attack. Uh, who do we have here that's getting blown away? Uh, thank you, uh, whoever this is, Quirt Nert, for subscribing during this filming. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, we have Skylar, Pixel, Wu uh, getting caught in that explosion. Dude, the entire monastery is just completely messed up, man. The entire thing goes up in flames. My goodness. Uh, I, again with the monastery going up in flames. Kabuki Mask says something interesting. Uh, more mysterious dialogue. Oh, you want to know who I am, Lloyd? You guys can't save us. Uh, here we have, again, Wu, Skylar, Pixel, all outside the monastery after it was burnt. Who's this little little person up here? Little Pixel Bot. Intriguing. I like how that looks quite a bit. Uh, we see Lloyd sneaking into the Vengestone or Crystal King meeting, presumably disguised as some type of weird villain. Not sure if that disguise will work. Probably not, because as we can see here... Uh, Lloyd is actually imprisoned in a Vengestone cage. We'll get to that. Uh, we'll get to that here in a second. We see Cole and Kai running down the subway, being chased by these crystallized spiders in their new costumes, and Lloyd here sheds a tear. My goodness, you love to see it, or you hate to see it, depending on who you are. I don't know. This season's going to be pretty wild in terms of how it actually treats Lloyd as a character. Yeah, he's crying there. Um, we see the villains here, Mr. F, Skull Sorcerer, we see Asphira and Pythor, and this mysterious masked figure goes, you want to know who I am, Lloyd? Shouldn't it be obvious? I'll give you a hint, and then goes to remove his or her mask, and uh, that's it for the teaser, or the trailer. That's it. That's the end. The Ninjago logo pops up on screen. And overall, this trailer, guys, I really enjoyed this trailer. What a trailer it was. Now, if only we got this trailer without getting a bajillion episodes of Crystallized, maybe this would actually mean something. Here's the part of the video where I'm going to rant a little bit. I'm just going to leave the screen like this. I am going to like the trailer. Like I said, it is a pretty cool trailer. But in terms of LEGO themselves, guys, what are you doing? Uh, it was going so well too. Uploaded a clip every now and then, maybe a trailer, sure. If this trailer was the only thing that came out today, I would be okay with that. But no, instead LEGO decides to drop at least 10 episodes now, right? In fact, let's go to LEGO's channel. How many episodes do we have so far, LEGO? How many episodes have you blessed us with? 11 so far. 11. Dude, are you for real? 11 episodes of Crystallized. Uh, thank you, uh, t t t Tush, Tush and Harris for subscribing. I don't know. Just seems like a big mess. I don't know why they're doing it this way. I have no idea what my video schedule is going to be looking like. I've already reviewed three of the episodes, uh, the first three. I don't know if I'm going to be reviewing any more today or what the deal is there. I don't even know if this trailer breakdown is going to be relevant. Sometimes, sometimes the world bites you and that's okay. Life goes on. The world keeps spinning. I don't know. I'm just kind of weirded out more than anything. Why? <laughs> Why, Lego? But hey, that's my little rant done. I just needed to get that out of my system because I'm sitting here in my room. Uh, been up for about 26, 27 hours now. I have little energy left. I'm n I'm not going through all these tonight. I'm not. I'm not. I'll let you guys know accordingly what I'm planning on doing. But in terms of the trailer itself, I liked it. It's a good trailer all around. 10 out of 10 perfect trailer. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. And hopefully you enjoyed listening to my little rant or ramble here towards the very end of the video. I don't know. Thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate everything that you guys do for me. Uh, thank you very much for all the constant support. Be sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Let me know what you thought of the trailer, and I will catch you guys again in the next video. Peace.